Hi, in this video, I will show you how can we use Authorization Manager in Spring Security version 6. It's also known as Access Decision Mode. After implement this, we will able to add or remove restricted endpoints dynamically to our roles. For example, in user role, we have a user's restricted endpoint. And if we send request to user endpoint, we will get a forbidden exception. However, if we delete this endpoint, and send request again, we able to access this endpoint. Or we can add another endpoint like uh, private user. Now we can see response. I will add this. and it's restricted let's look at the codes in role entity we have a set of string for restricted endpoints of course you can uh, move this into another class as a new entity but it's useful for me easy to use and I'm creating a role based water class. In this class, we are implementing authorization manager. Before the Spring Security 6 version, it was access decision manager, but it's deprecated as you can see. And here, I injected role repository. When the case came to here, I'm getting the authenticated user via user details and I'm getting request URL after get this I'm finding the roles which has the user with the given user detail principle and I'm creating a loop checking uh, each endpoints if the request URL matches with restricted endpoints. We are returning authorization authorization decision false, otherwise true. In security config, just we have to implement role based water class and here authorize HTTP request. Mostly it writes any request authenticated however we will delete it and we will add access well based water we can implement authenticated and access together at the same time also i want to show my simple endpoint how uh, for how can we add any restrictions or delete restrictions we have post mapping and delete mapping basically and we are adding or removing uh, restricted endpoints from here thanks for watching i hope this video is useful for you take care yourself goodbye